Good morning, friends. Welcome to my Monday morning quiz number two. For the benefit of everyone, let me inform the rules of this monthly Monday morning quiz. I shall post the quiz video in the PQSI YouTube channel on the third Monday of every month. The video will first explain the answers for the previous quiz. It will mention the names of the winners. For example, today I will share the answers for MMQ01 and I will also share the names of the winners of Monday morning quiz number one. Finally, it will have the three questions for this quiz, MMQ2. The response to these quizzes will be received only through a Google form. The link for the same will be available in the comment section of the YouTube video. The link will be open till the second Monday of the subsequent month, which means this quiz MMQ2, the Google form will be open until 12th July 2021. The first three correct responses for all the three questions will be declared winners of the quiz. The winners will receive a merit certificate from PQSI and they will also get a, a complimentary nomination. They will also get one complimentary nomination to any of the online training program conducted by PQSI. So with this introduction, let me now begin this edition of MMQ02. First thing is to talk about the previous quiz, the answers for the previous quiz. Some of you would have attempted this quiz MMQ number one, which was published in the month of May 2021. As always, we have three questions with a true or false statement. So let me explain these three questions one by one. So the first question that I asked in the MMQ number one quiz in the month of May is, question number one, zero to 25 digital micrometer with 0 0.001 millimeter resolution can be used to measure a shaft outside diameter of 20 millimeters plus 0 0.005 millimeter tolerance. That was the statement. And the question was to find out whether the statement is true or false. Friends, the correct answer for this is false. Here goes the explanation. The total tolerance of the shaft is only 0 0.005 millimeter. As per the 10% rule in the selection of a measuring instrument, we need an instrument whose resolution must be less than or equal to 0 0.0005 millimeters or 0 0.5 microns. The digital micrometer resolution suggested in this question is only having a resolution of one micron or 0 0.001 millimeter. Hence, the right answer for this is it is false. This digital micrometer cannot be used for an outside diameter with a tolerance of plus 0 0.005 millimeter, right? Let's move on to the next question now. Rejecting a good part is an example of type one error. That was the statement. Is the statement true or false was the question. The right answer is true. Most of you will be familiar with this two by two uh, metrics that we normally use while training uh, on hypothesis testing to explain type one and type two error. Rejecting a null hypothesis, even though it is true, is type one error. 
and therefore this situation of rejecting a good part is an example of type 1 error hence the correct answer for this is true now let's move on to the third question of mmq number 1 the statement the third statement said cp can be calculated for one sided specifications the correct answer is false here goes the explanation we cannot calculate cp with only one specification limit for the benefit of everyone a one sided specification means you either have an upper specification limit or a lower specification limit example like uh, in a surface finish 0.3 max ra so that means only one upper specification limit so whenever you have such kind of specifications using a cp formula which most of you will be familiar with is usl minus lsl divided by six standard deviation cannot be used because the cp formula needs both the usl and the lsl values so if the situation has only an upper spec limit value or a lower spec limit value you cannot use the cp formula assuming an arbitrary number in most cases people sometimes i see people using lower spec limit as zero which is wrong okay so cp cannot be calculated for one sided specification since the statement says cp can be calculated for a one sided specification this answer is false this statement is false we in this cases we directly declare the cpk value so there is no cp in these situations a direct cpk is what we declare those are the answers for the three questions of mmq number 1 and now i am i am happy to declare the three winners the three winners who responded first with the right answers for the three questions are Asif Rafur from Siet Halol, Vadodara, Gananathan from BPG Sensors, Varagadam, Chennai, and Kamalakkanan from Piramal Pharma, Ennur, Chennai. Congratulations to these winners. And now, the most exciting part of today's presentation, move on to, I'm sure you'll all be very eager to look at that. Look at the three statements of MMQ02. All that you need to fill in is whether these are true or false. Here goes the first one, the first statement. Calibration interval cannot be fixed by the user. Statement number two, there is no difference between the average range method and the ANOVA method while conducting GR and R study. Is it true or false? The third statement, P chart. The control chart, the attribute type of control chart, P chart is selected to plot the proportion defectives for a fixed subgroup size. I look forward to receiving your responses by going through the Google link that is available in the comment section of this YouTube video. And please remember that only the first three responses, the first three respondents with the correct answer, they are declared winners. Best wishes to everyone. Please take care of your health. I wish you all good health, happiness, and prosperity. Thank you. Signing off, Nanda from PQSI.